Pennsylvania is the biggest prize in swing states with 19 electoral college votes and Philadelphia is its largest city. Now we are joined by Will Gross who is the leader of the second democratic ward in Philadelphia. Your candidate Kamala Harris has spent the entire last day in Pennsylvania and, and will culminate it at the concert in Philadelphia. Why is Pennsylvania so important and why is she here till the very last day? Uh, so, you know, Pennsylvania incorporates two uh, large urban centers, uh, Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, uh, but it also, it, it also includes uh, many rural areas in the middle of the state and other parts of the state. Um, and I think in a, in a lot of ways it represents the country in a lot of ways, uh, demographics-wise. Uh, I think Kamala is here uh, primarily because uh, not just about the electoral uh, votes, that is obviously very important, but the fact that we have uh, people from different parts of the state that have very different experiences in their everyday lives, and the fact that her campaign is, is truly speaking to everyone in this state and how her campaign is, is working to help uh, not just uh, folks that are doing okay, but folks that are in, in the middle class or, or, or working class folks, folks that are farmers, etc. These are folks that are going to benefit from a Harris Walls uh, election tomorrow, and that's why I think she's here. You know, Philadelphia has been traditionally blue. At the same time, they have lot, lost registrations amidst Democrats, and we have seen a rise in Republican registration. So what is it, uh, why, why do you think that is happening? I think that a lot of this it comes down to messaging. Uh, I think it comes down to the, the reality of which party is uh, fighting for uh, which demographic, which group of people. I think uh, currently we have uh, two very different candidates, one who is truly going to help working class and working people and working families, and one that's going to help folks that are uh, in a different class, uh, in a billionaire class. And uh, I think the first represents Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, and the second represents uh, former President Donald Trump.